There seems to be a massive emphasis on youth development in FIFA 17 career mode. I recently put together a full team of messes, and even though we were bottom of the table, the board just kept emailing me about youth development. They didn't care that we were terrible. All they cared about was the lack of youth development. So when I received this comment recently, I thought I'd put it to the test. If we intentionally screw up our matches with a view to getting relegated, but meet our expectations in brand exposure and youth development, can we stay in charge of Barcelona? That's what I'm going to be trying out today, and if you want to see more FIFA 17 experiment videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button. There'll be plenty more to come, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, leave it a like as well. Anyway though, let's get into it, and let's see what happens if we meet our brand exposure and youth development objectives, but completely fail on the football in front. Right then, so in terms of brand exposure, we've got to gain 170 million from shirt sales. That shouldn't be too difficult, we'll just sign up a world class player or two. And in terms of youth development, we've got to sign up two players from the academy, grow them by 10 ratings, and play them in 5 matches. In addition to this, we've also got to sign up 4 midfielders from the academy. It should be pretty easy to be honest, and I've just sent out some youth scouts, so let's see what kind of players they come back with. And to meet the brand exposure objective, let's bring in Neuer. Why not? 90 million, 250 grand a week, job done. And we do of course want to lose matches, so I'm going to bring in a couple of lower rated players. This guy is 46 rated I believe, 27 years old, Tommy Casamodal, let's make an opening bid of 10 quid. Unfortunately though, 46 year old Barry Richardson, who has a rating lower than his age, is retiring at the end of the season, so we can't pick him up. 45 rated Barry Richardson will not be joining Barcelona. We can sign up 46 rated 37 year old goalkeeper Gavin Dowling though, so let's once again go in with an offer of 10 quid. Tommy Casamodal is new to that club unfortunately, so we can't sign him. And Wexford youths want more than 10 quid. Let's try Dublin it then. 20 quid. They're still not budging though, so let's try another offer. Probably about 202 grand more than what he's worth, but... Yeah, let's give him the offer nonetheless. So Gavin Dowling is signing for Barcelona. And I've just signed up four midfielders to the youth academy. So the board are pretty happy with me. They might not be quite so happy with this starting eleven though. It's a very attacking lineup with a lot of players playing up top. Messi's in goal. We've got the new man Dowling playing as the only defender in the squad. Very dodgy midfield. And then up top we've got three goalkeepers in the form of Neuer, Masip and Suarez. Now, Suarez up top is usually a pretty good thing, but not this Suarez. Yet we only lose that first game 2-1. Really? Okay, that one makes more sense. We lost that second game 4-0. And we need to start bringing youth players through, so let's concentrate on Sanchez and Gallardo. Not a bad first session. Both of them have gone up a rating, and they've both gone up a rating in the second session as well. So we're making very solid progress. And now that I've signed them up to the first team, they can start playing some matches. So the goalkeeper's playing up top, and the centre mid is playing at the back, as the one and only centre back in front of poor Messi in goal. How is this team only losing 2-1 in the home matches? I do not understand at all. Everyone is out of position, they've got Messi in goal, and yet, when they're the home team, the away sides are struggling, they're just about scraping by and winning, but it's not by a massive margin, is it? And once again, they've lost an away game 4-0. It's always a 2-1 defeat at home, and a 4-0 away defeat. It's so scripted. And this time, the game has broken the script. We've not lost 2-1 at home. We picked up a draw somehow. With that team, I do not know how that is happening. It's such a dodgy squad. Look at it. How is that team picking up a point? Less about that though. The youth players are smashing it once again. Sanchez is up by 5 ratings. And the goalkeeper has improved by 6. And we've just drawn again. This time in the Champions League. How is this happening? At least we can still rely on those away games for defeats. And now we're back to those supremely scripted 2-1 home defeats. And a 5-1 defeat away from home. With the team that we're putting out, that is more like it. We need to grow both of these youth players by 10 ratings. And so far we've got them up by 6 ratings and 7 ratings. Not too bad at all considering that we're still in September. And we've only been beaten 2-0 in the Champions League. It's a 6-0 defeat against Sao Vigo though. Pretty embarrassing. And that scripted 2-1 home defeat emerges again. 
Oh, look at that scoreline. What a surprise. Whilst Valencia have beaten us 3-0. Oh, seriously, just give it a rest now with that scoreline. I've had enough of it. This time, though, it's not a 2-1 home defeat. It's another 2-2 draw. And now we've lost 3-0. I'll take that. Finally, a bit of variety. Okay, maybe that scoreline wasn't so varied after all. And now we've lost 2-0 to Malaga, followed by a 3-0 defeat away against Basel, and a 5-0 defeat against Real Sociedad. I don't really care about the results though. What I care about is meeting the youth objective. And now you can see that Sanchez has gone up by 10 ratings, and the other player has gone up by 12 ratings. So, we've done it. They both played more than 5 games. So, it should mean that we've met the youth objective. Let's go and have a look, and it should be ticked. Is it going to be, though? I know that this is a bit broken in this game, and it's not. It says that we've only done it for one out of two players. Okay, and now we've lost 5-0 to Mallorca. Whatever. And as the youth objective system is a bit on the broken side, I'm going to try training up another couple of players. Let's grow these guys by 10 ratings as well. Okay, it's updated now and it does recognise that we have completed that youth development objective. Sadly though, we've got a manager rating of 36, so yeah, we might get sacked soon. And we've only got 91% of the way on the brand exposure goal. I should have signed another player. And it's yet another 3-0 defeat. Predictable. And we've now lost 2-0 to Osasuna. So I'm going to have to start making a few changes to the team, I think. We can't just keep losing games. We've got to win a few. Otherwise, we will be sacked. I'm still going to aim to get relegated and keep my job, but I'm going to play a more sensible team in a few matches just to give us a bit of extra security. And I don't know why this is happening. I created a second squad so that I could pick up a few extra points and keep my job. As you can see there, pretty normal team. Yet when we go to sim the match... It puts up the weird team instead. Apparently the game just wants me to be sacked. So I've deleted the second team sheet. Something was clearly a bit messed up. So I don't know quite what happened there. But we've gone with a regular start in 11 against Real Madrid. Let's see if we can pick up a win here. It won't be an easy match. But we do win it 2-0. We've got a couple more points on the board. Well, three more points on the board in fact. And hopefully... We should keep our job now. And that win should help us out as well. And a win over Las Palmas gives us a bit more security as well. We're still rooted to the bottom of the table. And I will do everything in my power to get us relegated. But as it stands, the board are a bit more happy with me. And I reckon we can do this. We'll complete those other objectives, get relegated, and we'll keep the job. Something that I'm even more sure about now, as we've just signed up Anthony Martial and completed that brand exposure objective. So we can now go back to losing a couple of matches. Not too many matches though, because then we'll get sacked. So... Yeah, let's lose a few games, win a couple here and there. So we'll lose this one and then bring things back a bit by winning this one. Or not. We really do need to win this one though. And we do just about scrape a 1-0 victory. And this game against Atletico Madrid was always going to be difficult. Especially with Messi in goal. And we've also lost that game against Sporting Gijon. Once again with Messi in goal. So we needed a win from this one. And thankfully the lads delivered. We don't want to pick up too many points though. And we could really do with losing this one as well. It's pretty close at the bottom. Come on Valencia. Please beat us. 2-1. And we've lost that one as well. Can't lose too many games in a row though. So we'll have to make an effort in the next one. Nice work Suarez. Lost the next one 5-1 though. We do of course still need to win a few matches though. Just to make it look like we're trying. And as this one is an away match against Real Madrid. We'll probably lose it even though we've got the best team out. I've not made any changes. And I reckon it's going to be a win in the bag for Real Madrid. A draw. I'll take that. Osasuna are one of our relegation rivals though. So we needed to lose that one. And I decided that we should lose this one as well. We've still got the job. But as you can see there, we're five points behind with only three games left to play. It's going to be tight, but I reckon we can do it. And it was a bit dodgy losing this one, but I reckon we can keep our job. Come on, please don't sack me. We're so close to the end of the season. Don't let it happen at this point. Okay, we're 20th in the table. So bottom, we've got 27 points, two games left to play. And we look like we're going to get relegated. And we've still got a job. So, yeah, mission accomplished. I decided to put out a solid start in 11 against Las Palmas. And we picked up a 1-0 victory. Despite winning that last game, though, 
we're officially relegated at this point. So even with a win in this final game, we had no hope of survival whatsoever. So the board expected us to win the league, the cup and the Champions League. We didn't do any of that though. We got knocked out of the group stage in the Champions League. We've been relegated, didn't win the Spanish Cup. At least we completed our youth development and brand exposure objectives though, and those have kept us in the job. So we've seen Barcelona relegated, and we've kept the job in the process, not bad going at all. Atletico Madrid have won the title, they picked up 82 points, Real Madrid came third behind Real Sociedad, and Barcelona finished up in 19th position. So thanks for watching, drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not already doing so, and I'll catch you again next time. I honestly don't know whether to laugh or cry with this game sometimes. I just wish there was a Spanish third division in the game so that we could try it again.